we're at the American Lamperite mine site. Um, and you're looking at conglomerate. This is nature's concrete. Look how this is a slab of concrete. And that's naturally cemented cobbles and gravel jaspers and novoculites in there. All of this once formed a concrete, natural concrete cap over the lamperite intrusion at the American mine, which we're about three miles northeast of the Crater of Diamond State Park. And they piled up a bunch of conglomerate here to get it out of their way so they could dig to the lamperite underneath. And Well, can you tell me your name and where you're from and what you're doing up here? <laughs> My name's Doug Hansen. I work with the uh, Geological Survey. Uh, I'm a geologist, and uh, we are out looking at these uh, conglomerates. Okay, and your office is out of Little Rock? We, yeah, we're based in Little Rock. Okay, all right. And uh, we serve the state. Okay. What, what can you tell me about this particular piece of conglomerate? Um, these are conglomerates. They're iron cemented. Um, they have, they're composed of the, uh, uh, the gravel is composed of primarily an evaculite, uh, chert. Uh, there could be a little uh, milky quartz in here uh, and a little quartzite and sandstone. Uh, but like I said, most of it is uh, navaculite or chert. Okay. Uh, it's all pretty well rounded. You have various sizes of gravel represented here. Um, Age-wise, this is uh, at the base of the Tokyo Formation, which is uh, Upper Cretaceous. Mm -hmm. And um, so, what a hundred million years? Or no, what? it would be in the neighborhood of probably say 90 million years okay. or a little less. I was only off 10 million, yeah, <laughs> nothing to that. <laughs> now, this is all iron cemented together, and some of the iron valences you can see are f making colors. There's a little blue and purple mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. um, some, there are some greeny kind of colors right there. Yeah. And uh, you can see the black shininess. And at, at the right angle of sunlight, you will see these different colors poking out. Yeah. And this is where I collected that green mineral. And we've got purple there. And we found a little more green, green. as well. And didn't you see a green spot yes, over here? There is a, there, right here. Okay. We're not certain. One one person said it was armalkalite, and another gothite or limonite. But we're we're not certain what it is exactly. But it's it's real thin. It's not a uh, just a coating. Just a coating. Right. Yes. And uh, so, were there uh, hot waters involved in? The uh, making of this or the emplacement of the iron? Not so much. Um, this would have been uh, deposited in a uh, shallow marine uh, type of uh, environment. Uh, this may even have been a uh, beach carpet uh, or just okay. right offshore. Yeah. Uh, it was sourced out of the Washita Mountains, which are just a few miles to the north of us. Um, there's some more green there. And, and as far as the, uh, this Tokyo gravel, we, we find it is about 30 foot thick. Wow. Now, not everywhere is it cemented together like this. Mm -hmm. um, just has to be enough iron in the water that's percolating through the rocks uh, to cement them up like mm -hmm. this. Now, is there manganese or anything else with the iron? Um, I read a report that uh, had analysis of this uh, shiny kind of colored. Yes. And uh, it was saying it's 85% uh, iron and 15% manganese. Okay. All right. Now that's, that's 
that's just uh, a guess because we have no analytical capabilities. Mm -hmm. See, there's there's a little color there. Look at the uh, little pink. Yeah. Yes, I see it. Almost a rainbow effect from some yes. of these. Yeah, and that's what I've seen in other places that you have uh, this heavy iron um, precipitate is that it can range from a color of black to yellow. Okay. I've seen it red, pink, uh, orange, blue, violet. Oh, wow. Um, so that rainbow effect is there, you just don't have the white. Yeah. Well, these are some interesting specimens. If there was only a way I could carry it home. Yes, you can, yes. <laughs> And these would make fantastic yard rocks. Sure. Because ain't nobody going to run over them. And nobody going to run off with them either. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with the various size gravels in here, they have a, uh, um, a varied appearance. Um, and it's not like they're going to break apart or anything right. like that. Right. They're not going to weather. These have been out. You know, in the they, elements for a long time. You know, they they uh, being the rocks they are, they are very hard. They have a hard majority of the rock in here is a hardness of seven. Okay. So being a seven is very durable. Yes. Um, which comparing to uh, seven uh, quartz, I mean, is quartz is seven. Yeah. And diamond is ten. Right. Well, this is fascinating. I appreciate your insight and uh, talking to the talking to me about these conglomerates. And uh, thank you very much for joining us, Doug. Yes, sir. Thank you.